Be sure to watch this video till the end because at the end, I'm gonna tell you how you can win a $500 gift certificate to eWheels.com. eWheels.com is the only place that I've ever purchased an electric unicycle from and Jason and his team have never let me down. Crazy, crazy. Just because I can't ride like a pro doesn't mean I can't hang out with pros and learn from them. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you some tips that I learned while hanging out with La Laxina and Vache in Las Vegas. La Laxina is an EUC pro. He's starred in EUC commercials, he's won EUC competitions, and being able to hang out with him and Vache and learn from them, it was like an EUC masterclass. And I did a video and I shared with you how I learned how to jump, but I didn't share with you these tips. It didn't quite make that video. And you know, I felt like that was something that I just need to share with you so that you guys can learn what I learned during my experience in Las Vegas. To get started with the EUC riding tips, let's start off with speed wobbles. Speed wobbles is something that all electric unicycle riders are inevitably going to experience from beginner to intermediate to advanced riders. When you're on an electric unicycle, you just wanna go fast. You just wanna show off that power. And with speed wobbles, it can kind of get annoying. And if you're a beginner or intermediate rider, it could also be dangerous. So let's see what Law has to say about speed wobbles. Randomly, you noticed, did you yeah. notice that earlier? Doing like sometimes wobble. I'll just, I'll force myself into a wobble, just play with it. Cause there's so many people who unintentionally get into that wobble but don't know how to get out. Um, usually my answer to that is just trying to start carving out of it and um, it's it, it can happen super quick but sometimes once you initiate a good carve then you can you can escape. Yeah again like earlier today we got him jumping over some man some manual covers. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's how <laughs> we, we started baby steps. Exactly. And eventually so, we're doing rocks and yep. then you set you set up curbs. Little, yeah, rocks, curbs and parking blocks. Parking yeah, parking blocks. blocks. Yeah, yeah, you got, you got that easy. I never thought I'd be able to do parking blocks, right. you know, that quickly. Jimmy Chang. Lover. Uh -huh. ah. Hey, pop it. Easy. Oh. No effort. Did I do it? Yeah, you did. Um, yeah, so I like the progression. I like that, you know, you guys pushed me, but you didn't push me to the point where I felt like I was gonna hurt myself. Right. I was being dangerous. For sure. Um, it was a ton of fun, and I feel like uh, I'm a completely different rider. I went from being very stiff, <laughs> and uh, now I'm, I feel like I'm more smooth in my mind. I, feel, I probably don't look smooth, but I feel more smooth and <laughs> just smoother, more, you're smoother. more, you more yeah, fluid. You're sure. making moves. So, yeah. That's what we want. Yeah, and that's, that's what it is. You know, you just want to make your moves very deliberate. You know, you want to make them smooth. You know, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Your, your limit, as long as you're being smooth at that limit. If you're if you're not being smooth and you're starting to shock the wheel or jolt you know jolt the wheel, mm -hmm. you know you're going too fast. But you know you, you could take it all the way up to smoothness and then just play around at smoothness. Play around with your deep carves. Mm -hmm. Play around with everything. You know that could be 12 miles an hour today and it's amazing. And then at 15 it's a new world. And then at 23 miles an hour everything just happens that much fast. You know, and the next thing you know you're doing 30. You're doing it just as smooth, it doesn't feel that fast anymore. You've, you've learned to slow everything down. <laughs> if you're not riding with other people, it's too easy to fall into this, you know, kind of rut of just going straight and trying to go fast. And, um, yeah. you know, you're not progressing as a rider. by riding with other folks that know what they're doing, that can instruct you, encourage you. Um, safely. Yeah. Safely. A little jump again. Oh my. Just bonk it, bonk it, bonk it. <laughs> ah, no, no, do that again. Speed. <laughs> Jimmy, you have to do that again. You, okay, let me do it can, again. You okay. can do that. You gotta believe in yourself, buddy. He can do it, he's just gotta, you just gotta make sure you hit it at a 90. If he hits it at a 45, he eats it. Keep it cute. Jimmy Chang, the jumper. There we go. That wasn't oh, yeah. exactly a jump, but we'll take it. <laughs> there you go. You just gotta believe in yourself, buddy. Oftentimes, I'll end up like watching other riders, say like Phantomas, Mike Leahy, chilling with like when when we were hanging out with uh, Merlin, Mike, and all the other people who were coming in from out of state. I was just like serious, just analyzing what people could potentially do, and then just optimize it. Yeah. Just take take those ideas and make them better, if not copy them.
we have so many wheels out right now or right. that are coming out and they're just so big so powerful and yeah. everyone's just you know discussing everybody, about everybody wants oh, range. I want everyone this speed. I want that I want more range I want right. more speed I want Where, durability yeah durability I want durability, I want durability. Yeah. well what so, about torque. you know what about just taking the wheel that you already have and uh, learning how to do more with it little details with writing say like a, a pad setup uh, sometimes you'll see somebody setting up jump pads uh, some people set like giant blocks like covering up like the whole front end of the wheel mm -hmm. uh, problem is with that you're you're making the wheel like just look a little bit ridiculous with with like having all the extra material that's not necessarily like uh, useful yeah um, so you can just like minimize it this you can make it potentially thinner um, like jump pads it doesn't have to be like the thickest thing on the block but then as long as it's just enough to be able to lift it without having too much give on here it doesn't matter as long as as long as you get what you need to do out of the wheel, then it doesn't have to be too bulky. In this tip, we learned that more is not always better. The natural tendency is to always want to get a, the best, the biggest wheel, or to slap on as much padding and as, as many you know, things onto your wheel to help you become a better rider. Just because you have the biggest, most expensive wheel, it's not going to mean you have the best skills to ride an EUC. Which moves us on to our next tip. Ride the wheel that you have and learn something new with it. I can just take my wheel that I have right now and yeah. practice going, doing jumps, practice yeah, sure. bonking, practice you know riding backwards. Yeah, there's there's definitely going to be some limitations. Say if you have like a V5, not like a V5F or whatever things bigger, you don't want to be jumping off curbs or doing anything too crazy with that because it has a small tire. You're restricted to potentially denting the rim and. Okay, so um, some wheels you can't. Some wheels do you those can't, things. but there are different things that you can do. I mean, playing around the parking lot, I'll start practicing going backwards, start doing track stands. You saw recently, I started jumping backwards. <laughs> so yeah. that's that's Very another impressive. thing that you could potentially just do. And so it's not all about how fast or how far you it's can go. It's like what you can do, and yeah. as a rider, more technical stuff yeah. that doesn't require huge speed and huge it's, range. It's those little details that make such a big difference with the yeah. riding, and it'll make you safer. Sure. Exactly. Practice new skills with the wheel you all already have. It's so easy to fall in love with the, the next latest and greatest. And as electric unicycle riders, we're, we're kind of spoiled because all these companies are coming out with new wheels all the time. But don't fall into the trap and feel like you have to have the latest and greatest most expensive wheel to become a better rider. Be good on the wheel that you already own. It may be an old wheel, but you can learn things like riding backwards, riding back and forth like a pendulum, jumping up curbs, or carving. And speaking of carving, let's move on to the next tip. Let me see some carving, Jimmy. I don't want you riding yeah. lame. There we go. Yeah. Your, your body's moving, but the wheel's not doing anything. <laughs> Let me see some wheel. How much do you know about uh, riding with like the heel toe? Uh, like uh, like much. balancing between. Good morning. Much. Good morning. So when you're when you're carving when you're carving and turning left, okay. you want to use your left toe and you and apply pressure with your right heel, and then vice versa. So if you're turning yeah, right, say that again. When I'm carving, carving left. Okay. Then you want to use your left toe and then you use your right heel. Okay. And then along with that, you want to use your right toe, left heel if you're carving right. Okay. If you're riding off road in like really loose gravel. Riding with that like heel toe method, it'll make it way safer. Whichever way I'm turning into, you my guide, toe guide with going. the toe. Guide with my toe, guide and with the then toe. the heel will follow on the opposite foot. Exactly. Alright. Yeah, buddy. Because of the constant falling and tumbling that these single-wheeled electric devices take, durability is key. The other thing that's key is making sure you have the appropriate customer service. Through customer service, you're going to get warranty coverage, you're going to get servicing of your wheel, and you're also going to have a place to turn to for parts. And that's why I love eWheels.com, and I'm giving away a $500 gift certificate to eWheels.com, the only place that I've ever purchased an electric unicycle from. Jason and his team have never let me down. And so to enter, this is all you got to do. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, 
make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And then down in the comments, I want you to comment about what your favorite EUC tip is that's made you a better writer. And make sure to leave in there a hashtag eWheels. Over the next few videos, I'll be giving away some amazing prizes to help celebrate reaching 20,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel. I wanna thank all the vendors, and if you haven't already, make sure to check the video about the electric scooter, the InMotion L9 with 59 miles range. You can enter into that giveaway. Um, this video, we're doing the giveaway for electric unicycle riders and in the next video we'll be giving away some goodies for one wheel riders so make sure you're subscribed make sure to hit that bell notification so you don't miss the giveaways and when we announce the winners thanks for watching as always make sure to wear your safety gear when you ride